the event to recall the Lord Buddha's incomparable virtue has been organized as homage paid to the Lord Buddha on the day of his birth, self-enlightenment, and attainment of complete nirvana. Our virtuous friends in Singapore have worked together very hard for this International Visak Day. For unity is the virtue required in the propagation of Buddhism. This exhibition is open to the public so that people of different creeds who live in Singapore and elsewhere can gain a better understanding of the Dharma and Buddhist way of life. We are very happy that we are able to participate in this wonderful location. Visa 2012 actually bring us many joy and we are very joyful and you know we are very happy that we are able to play the part as a part of the Dhammakaya family to help the center, you know, to help to support the DMC, to support Dhammakaya, to spread Buddhism from Singapore and we hope to achieve it throughout the whole world. And we hope that everybody will have the opportunities to learn meditations and to attain their inner peace and will be able to help us to achieve world peace in the time to come. The day to recall the Lord Buddha's virtue in Singapore, 2555 Buddhist era. Each year, in the past seven years, Wapadamakaya Singapore has organized a Visak Day exhibition for the people in Singapore and elsewhere. And on May the 4th to the 6th, 2555 Buddhist era, this very special Buddhist event is being held at Hard Court Block 283, Bukit Batak East 703, inside the tents of covering an area of nearly 2,000 square meters, where there are scenes of the Lord Buddha's birth, self enlightenment, and complete nirvana. I feel it's uh, very respectfully presented, uh, presented and uh, it's a good way to remember the teachings. I feel very respectfully presented, uh, presented and uh, it's a good way to remember the teachings. I feel it's very to 然后它的场景都布置得非常的漂亮，让我们觉得有一种很清新的感觉，让我们更呃有很想来接近的这种感觉。谢谢。This annual visa day exhibition allows people of every creed to come and learn about the Lord Buddha's teachings through such Buddhist activities as meditation practice, alms giving, food offering, building the Buddha image lighting the lanterns and candles to worship the holy relics, and other meritorious activities which spark joy and interest in every attendee. Each activity is supervised by a knowledgeable virtuous friend who helps explain things and the ways to accumulate merit to the people. Oh yes, I came here yesterday and it was just an accident that I was able to come and see this great exhibition. And uh, the Buddha exhibition is really informative and enlightening. And I am glad that I got this opportunity of coming to this hall and seeing so many Buddhas. And I got complete peace and um, uh, stillness in my mind. I think I should do this kind of meditation every other day because it has helped me a lot. And I keep telling other people also to come and see this exhibition because you you get so much of peace and uh, happiness by coming here. So we are very happy to celebrate Vesak Day in Singapore. So, so far we see the preparation here is very nice. This Vesak Day in this place is very lovely and very clean. 
So we are very happy with all the activities here and it's great that all the devotees can join in, in the Vesak celebration. I feel uh, happy to be here. Uh, I think it's a special day for Buddhists. Uh, and uh, uh, on this special day we have to be nicer as a person to everyone and also not only on this day but uh, everyday life you have to practice uh, Buddhism. Uh, that's how I feel. Meditation is a, a, a practice that uh, we, Buddhi, we Buddhists uh, we practice to attain a, a sort of inner peace inside us amongst a busy schedule in life to be able to think better. This year's event is currently presented over by Prakku Ananta Kijanagun, Vice President of the Thai Sangha in Singapore in the Ceremony of Necessities Offering to Sangha, Monastic Community. Moreover, the leaders of other religions such as Madame Halima Yaakob, Deputy Minister of the Ministry of Community Development, Youth and Sports, I'm very happy that uh, Kalena Vita Center has uh, decided to organize this event again in my Bukit Batu East residency, residence, uh, constituency. And I think that if you look at uh, uh, the Buddhist practice, uh, the principles that uh, Buddhism uh, advocates, this is a very universal principles, peace, uh, encourage people to develop habits which will promote happiness, goodwill. In terms of Buddhism, through the Kalyana Mita Center, you can see that they do a lot of good work as well. And I'm very happy to see that a Buddhist in Singapore, in terms of the kind of charity work they have been doing, is tremendous. So I'm very happy that uh, this is what the Kalyana Mita Center has been doing. And we've been, uh, and they have been organizing this event. Like, this is the second year in Bukit Batu East, and I'm indeed very pleased to be able to support that. And uh, I think in addition to that, there are also other activities run by the center, for instance, meditation, uh, in order to uh, allow people to develop uh, peace, uh, quiet, quietness in them, uh, to develop themselves. That is also important because I think uh, people are becoming very pressurized. So for those who are Buddhists and they feel that this is one way of getting them to reduce the stress, to connect to themselves, to be a lot more peaceful. This, problem, this is one way of bringing them some uh, quietness, bringing them some, uh, help them to reduce stress and to cope with life. And Freya Michael de Cruz, the head of Roman Catholic Fears, also have been interested in joining the activities. Such interreligious gathering shows that Buddhist practices are universal and people of every religion can learn about them and practice them. On every visa day, I feel very peaceful and very, very blessed. Every visa, not just this ceremony. Um, so I feel very happy to be here. I actually, I feel very grateful that I have the ability to be here. I think uh, it is a very interesting day. Uh, all uh, races attended this kind of uh, celebration. I think it is good so for bonding among races. So I think we should uh, have more of this kind of uh, ceremony where you bring all uh, races together and uh, we can understand each other's culture so that there will be no conflict against uh, one another. So I think it is very interesting. เป็นที่น่าประทับใจกันเพื่อคนสิงคโปร์เนี่ยได้มาร่วมงานในในครั้งนี้กันค่อนข้างมากนะครับจะเห็นได้ว่าศาสนาพุทธเราได้เผยแ
percepts observation and meditation practice. These practices are universal, and they benefit whoever practices them by improving the quality of the person's life. Buddhist practices are universal, and they lead to peace and happiness for all.